Bill, the gentleman from Minnesota is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ter Secretary Hallam. Thank you for joining us today. Late last month, you testified in front of the Appropriations Committee. My friend and colleague, Mr. Reschenthaler, asked you about the mineral withdrawal in my district. You said, and I quote, well, we did a mineral withdrawal in the Boundary Waters, end quote. Secretary Hallen, do you understand why this statement that you made under oath is false? Congressman, um, it is my understanding that uh, we made a decision in this area. Um, Madam Secretary, I have to interrupt you. Do you understand why the, dis the answer that you made under oath is false? There is no mining in the wilderness area, and there is no mining in the surrounding buffer zone either. As the Secretary of the Interior and as a former member of Congress on this committee, you should have known there was never a proposal to mine in the Boundary Waters per the 1978 Act. Secretary Hallen, do you recognize the document behind me? Um, would you like me? Do you recognize that document? Um, it's For those that don't know, it's the updated list of critical minerals released from your department last year. Okay, yes. Now do you recognize it? Yes, so sorry. Okay, in your exchange with Mr. Reschenthaler, you said in reference to the minerals in the Superior National Forest that you banned, and I quote, I don't know what kind of minerals were there. I don't think they were critical minerals, end quote. Well, as someone who works, lives, and recreates there, and as someone who has the privilege of representing the people that live there, let me tell you, those minerals include, that you banned, include nickel, cobalt, palladium, plat platinum, and other group metals. Again, this is a list produced by your own department, Madam Secretary. And you told Mr. Reschenthaler that, quote, I don't think they were critical minerals. That's unbelievable. Secretary Halland, you claim the withdrawal that you forced upon my constituents is in the Boundary Waters. That's wrong. Do you now understand? Congressman, I should have said that it was the Boundary Waters watershed. Okay, so let me, let, let, let's watershed correct that. Area. Madam Secretary, I only have so much time. Let me correct it. You, then you either misspoke or misled in the testimony. Which was it last week? I should have added the word watershed, Congressman. You don't think that the withdrawal included critical minerals. Again, that's wrong. You, you had to be told that there were critical minerals. It was only after the hearing that you made the, made the changes. And today, you're making the changes because you, you had no idea. When Mr. Reschenthaler was asking you, you had no idea that the withdrawal was not in the Boundary Waters, and you had no idea that there were critical minerals that you banned in the Boundary Waters. So how can you, as a Secretary of Interior, not know where the wilderness is? And how can you not know that your agency withdrew critical minerals? You own this decision to take offline massive amounts of critical minerals we need for everyday life and our strategic national security. Your decision, Madam Secretary, is either purely political or ignorance. It's either ignoring your own agency's research or a political move to satisfy your radical anti-mining activists. This ill-informed decision has left the United States more dependent on China. Now that you've been given the facts, and you are willing to rescind, are you willing to rescind your order to withdraw the opportunity to mine critical minerals outside of the wilderness and the buffer zone? Congress, Congressman, what I would like to say is that with respect to the mine that you are referring to, uh, it was always called a copper mine, and copper is not on that list. It has nickel and cobalt. It's the biggest copper nickel find in the world. In closing, I'd like to state for the record, this withdrawal, according to the Forest Service, includes a taconite and copper ban as well. And Madam Secretary, the Iron Range in northern Minnesota mines 
uh, iron ore that makes 80% of this nation's steel. And you banned taconite. Taconite is included in the ban that you supported and signed. I'll enter my documents into the record. And again, it's frustrating that you made a decision without any knowledge whether there was critical minerals in there. And you made the decision thinking that the mining was gonna happen in the boundary waters. You were mistaken. Per the 1978 Act, there was never gonna be mining in the boundary waters or the buffer zone. Again, you had no idea when you made that decision what, the, what critical minerals were in there, and furthermore, you had no idea that we had project labor agreements to put union men and women to work for generations. Mr. Chairman, has the time expired, or is there more hyperventilation that we need to endure? I yield back. I, I, I have given leeway to several others. So, so uh, Mr. I, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you for the clarification. Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, if we indulge a point of order. Gentlemen's recognized. We have significant differences in terms of policy and philosophy on this committee, no question about it. Uh, but uh, berating uh, the secretary or any witness that we have before us, uh, diminishing and demeaning the victim, I mean the victim exactly. Uh, the, Point of the, order, the, Mr. Chair. Uh, I, I think is uh, inappropriate and I would suggest- Point of order, Mr. Chair. Decorum is part I, I of request, our- I request uh, the, the uh, ranking member's uh, words to be taken down. That is not, that's factually inaccurate. I will save us the exercise of going through that and uh, indicate to the gentleman that that was not, uh, uh, that my comments are directed in general and not specifically to anyone, but uh, if he is uh, offended by them, um, I apologize for that, but I don't apologize for the, the call for real decorum in this. In Mr. Chair, yeah, I, respectfully, Chairman. I respectfully request those words be stricken. That's inaccurate. Mr. Chair, on what basis, uh, point of clarification, on what, uh, what specific word is sought to be struck? We're, we're getting to that. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to establish what those are. The, the fact that a member has berated the Secretary of Interior. That was what? factually correct. <laughs> that is not... At, it is absolutely not correct. <laughs> and that's being charitable. Berating is being Mr. charitable. Mr. Huffman, I spoke the truth with passion. And when you speak the truth with passion and protecting my constituents, it's with passion. Uh, I, we're going to take a five-minute recess. <laughs> the, uh, the committee stands in recess. And we're going to find out what berate means? Yeah. Okay. With all the definitions. <laughs>
I'll just stick with, it's good to see you, Madam Secretary. Welcome back. And I, for one, am very grateful that you are here. I'm grateful that you're leading the Department of Interior. I think you're doing an outstanding job. Uh, it, of course, was a privilege, of, one of the privileges of my career, and I know I speak for many of my colleagues here, to serve with you on this committee and on the subcommittee on public lands. And I couldn't be more grateful for the work that you're doing across our country. 